Hi, this is Alan Percy, Director of Market Development with Audio Codes, and we're here at Enterprise Connect 2011 with uh, Don Hooveden, uh, Solution Architect with Genesis. Good to have you here, Don. Thanks, it's great to be here. Yeah. So, Don, we were um, talking a little bit about uh, Genesis, and so we could start out with maybe some background on Genesis, would be great. Sure, Genesis is the market leader in open-based contact center solutions. And we've been around for roughly 20 years, so what we do is we allow companies to increase uh, the capabilities of their PBX from a call routing standpoint. Uh, so we really started out in the TDM environment, but we've evolved you know, as the market has moved to voice over IP, and we've had a SIP ACD solution out in the marketplace for over seven years. Wow, that's great, good. Well, um, maybe then what we could do is spend a moment to just talk about your role in Genesis. Uh, sure, my role in Genesis is I'm a solutions architect. So what I do is I work with the various uh, sales teams, both the account executive as well as the solutions engineers, on typically more complex deployments. So as new technologies emerge, you know, SIP has been around for uh, roughly 10 years, but you know, it's gone through a number of iterations. So when you know, we need to do interoperability with PBXs, hybrid PBXs, media gateways, or carriers now that they're offering SIP trunking solutions or other SIP-based solutions. That might be uh, one area that I would be involved in. Great, great. So we were talking earlier about uh, solutions that use both Audio Codes and Genesis together. Uh, and, and one of those that came up was a, was a large contact center uh, that um, does uh, what we call maybe uh, software as a solution, right? So it's a hosted platform. Uh, and working solutions. And working solutions uh, uses our media gateways uh, to drive their large contact center. So tell me about the things, you know, the attributes about a gateway that make a contact center uh, productive. Well, I think when customers are looking for media gateways, uh, they're trying to determine you know, what uh, multi-purpose appliance they can use that will fit in their environment to provide a variety of different functions as well as connectivity and interoperability with different devices, whether that might be PRIs coming directly from a carrier, uh, an existing TDM PBX, uh, uh, also a, a number of functionality so that there's built-in call routing and failover capabilities at the SIP level. When you look at you know, what may be available in a SIP trunk, whether it's coming from a carrier or from a hybrid PBX. Uh, a lot of times, especially with a hybrid PBX vendor, it's designed to interoperate with products from that same vendor. Mm -hmm. So when we look at audio codes, audio codes is really a vendor agnostic solution and is adding in a lot of bells and whistles so that it allows you to distribute traffic across diverse location support, uh, a high availability disaster recovery strategy that could be aligned with the customer's business requirements. And in the contact center, you know, uptime is very important. And so being able to have a media gateway and a rich set of functionality that allows us to easily map to customer's business requirements is important, as well as support for you know, the various SIP standards as they emerge, because SIP really is an umbrella of different standards. Right. Um, whether it's from support for uh, DTMF and how that's collected, to how calls are transferred from reinvite to refer, adding replaces, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. So making sure that we have uh, a media gateway that really is flexible and robust enough to allow us to begin to take more advantage of the value proposition that SIP affords us than other more watered down offerings. Right. So it sounds like probably the biggest attributes is, is we take away a lot of the pain of interfacing to the legacy TDM world and some of the other SIP world. Yeah, well, that is definitely a key benefit. Uh, with Audio Codes, Audio Codes has interoperability with you know a, a variety of TDM solutions, all the, the major players out on the marketplace, and it becomes a common point of agreement that you know Genesis can point to as something that we have lots of customers deployed with, and it's also something that other traditional PBX vendors are comfortable with, so it's a pretty safe solution that customers can select, and it's also something that as 
a media gateway, which is you know, purpose built. It allows customers and appliance that can be moved around as you know, their telephony configuration changes. Right. Uh, another thing that I think we're excited about and our customers are excited about is uh, audio codes direction with session border controllers right. because now this appliance becomes reusable. Customers are already making an investment in this media gateway and a lot of folks might have a longer term roadmap to move to SIP trunking from the carrier and they don't want to be they don't want to make a stranded investment. Right. They want to understand how they may be able to potentially uh, reuse that in the future, and that's something with uh, Audio Codes ESBC that I think a lot of customers uh, find interesting. Great, great. Well, I re really appreciate you spending some time with us here today. Sounds like uh, we've got some great things going with Genesis, and so uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, this is again Alan Percy with the Director of Market Development here with Don Huvenin, uh, Solution Architect for Genesis. Uh, thanks for watching.